in this demo, I'm going to show you how a master template can be used within an existing project. For example, if you are working as part of a BIM workflow and are using multiple versions of a Revit model, the master template tool can be used then to speed up your work within the virtual environment. I am now going to show you how to use the master templates tool on multiple versions of a VE model. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use the two story building based in Glasgow. And I'm going to assume that this model was imported originally into the VE software using Revit. So to show you what that would look like in Revit, I'm going to jump into Revit here. So what you're seeing now is version one of the two story building in Glasgow, just to show you what that looks like in 3D. We can see, see the model here. So on the original version of the Revit model version one, we can see on the first floor plan that the, that the plan is very open plan and there's not, there's not many cellular office spaces. So on version two then of the Revit model, the first floor plan is much more cellularized. We can see a number of cellular offices have been added. So just to show you version one and version two similar changes were made to the ground floor. So in order to use these Revit models within the VE software, you first need to export GBXML files. That's very simple to do. So I'm just going to call this Glasgow building version one. So this is a GBXML file of the first version of the Revit model. I'm also going to do the same for version two of the Revit model. You can export GBXML, click next. So I'm just going to save this version 2 of the Revit model as Glasgow Building V2. I'm now going to show you how the two different versions of the Revit model exported as GBXML files can be used within the VE software. So in order to import these files, I first need to open a blank VE project. I then need to click File import gbxml then need to click import and i need to navigate to the relevant file I'm just going to call this new project glasgow building ve model v1 See, I have some options here now in the set model properties window. The first thing I need to do, the first step, I need to check the model to make sure everything's okay. Then need to confirm that I've checked the model and then click okay. So a BIM import report will open where we can check some of the healing that's been carried out by the software on the GBXML file. Then once I click OK, software is then gone and imported the V1 Revit model into the software. So we just follow the same pr process to import the V2 Revit model into the software. I have now successfully imported the V1 and V2 versions of the Revit model into the VE software. So you can see the V1 Revit model here and the V2 Revit model imported into the VE software. So I've just imported these two models. So now I'm going to go through the process of showing you how to export a master template and then I'm going to um, assign data to the V2 Revit model. 
So this V1 Revit model that was imported into the software, I've went ahead and assigned some, some data to this model. So I'm just going to refer to this now as Glasgow Building uh, version 1. No, oh, so this particular model has, like we've seen before earlier in the demo, I've assigned the same thermal templates, which have the same data associated with them. I've also assigned the same constructions to this particular uh, VE model. So to export the master template file, once more, I need to go to Tools, Master Templates, and Master Template Export. I'm going to export a .tpl file and give it a, a memorable name here. And now I'm going to go to the Glasgow Building version 2, which is used in version 2 of the Revit model. And this particular model has no thermal template data in it. And you can see if I select a couple of a couple of rooms here. Show you that these rooms have no, no data assigned. Well, they actually have a default thermal template assigned, but that has no internal gains, no air exchanges, and just a main system default. So it's the same procedure again if I want to assign data using a master template to this blank VE model. Just go to master templates, master template wizard. I need to open the TPL file or the master template. And now I'm going to import and assign data. And just to recap, this will import all template model data of the desired types to your model. Imported data will be assigned to auto-matched rooms. I'm going to use the room name matching precedence once more. I can view the current uh, the room names in, in the source model, which is the V1 Glasgow building. Just click next. The software is gone and matched the current room names in the V2 model to the matched room names which are taken from the source model. And if I just go to the first floor where I've added in a number of new cellular offices, we will see that they have been matched to similar cellular offices in the V1 VE model. It looks like the data that's going to be imported and assigned looks okay. I'm just going to also click construction templates and then click next. Here's a summary of the changes that are going to be made to the V2 VE model. And lastly, the, the data is going to be assigned. So I'm just going to click start, quickly go through that. Now the data has been brought into my V2 VE model. I'm just going to check the building template manager so I can see at least all the thermal templates have been have been brought in here now from the source model using the master template. So if I just check a few rooms now maybe I'll just check those new rooms that have been added to the first floor level the new cellular offices so I can see that these rooms have been assigned the correct thermal template. So cellular offices have been assigned the, the office cellular thermal template and the meeting rooms have been, have been assigned the thermal template meeting room. And they've also been assigned the data associated with those thermal templates. 
So that was a short demonstration showing you how master templates could be used on a current project utilizing multiple versions of a Revit model. So thank you for checking out this demo today.